uh, internet sellers. Uh, we have a problem. They, 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 they do not have a brick and mortar presence in Ohio, therefore, they're exempt from uh, collecting and remitting sales taxes. And it's not a fair situation. It's an unfair playing ground, and I think things should be brought to a more level surface. Why should they be given uh, privilege over that particular issue? Small businesses like ours in, in Ohio have a lot of different taxes that we have to pay. And we support a lot of families. And uh, I'd like to introduce our famous uh, representative Stivers to uh, please talk to us about this uh, issue. Thanks, Jack. And Jack yes, has a great local establishment that's been here how many years? Long time. Well, we've been here uh, 30, 33 years, 34 years. And, and so well known to our community, a place where a lot of people come. Um, but there's a fairness issue out there where folks that um, invest in brick and mortar in our communities to make beautiful stores are at a competitive disadvantage against folks who have only an online presence. And so um, I support uh, HR 2775, which is the e-fairness bill for really three reasons. Number one is it's about fairness. We need everybody held to the same standard. and. Um, Jack is already collecting sales tax because the state makes it. Other online retailers don't collect that state sales tax uh, because they have no what's called economic nexus. So it, what it does is it creates a disincentive for folks to invest in our communities. It's really unfortunate. Uh, it's about fairness, number one. Number two, it's about jobs. Jack has uh, a lot of families that depend on him. They work for him. Um, it creates a disincentive, the current system, to create jobs in Ohio. When you create a job in Ohio, guess what? You have then have to collect the sales tax. So these online people have an incentive to keep their jobs out of Ohio, and they're benefited by that. Uh, so it's exactly, it's so totally perverse. It's exactly the opposite of what we should be encouraging. We should be encouraging investment in our communities, we should be encouraging people to employ Ohioans. Instead, the current system incentivizes exactly the opposite. The final point I want to make is this is not about a new tax. Uh, today, we all have to pay sales tax or use tax. If you buy something on the internet and you don't um, pay sales tax at the point of sale, when you fill out your uh, 1040 tax form and your Ohio tax form, you're supposed to pay a use tax. Only 2% of Ohioans did it last year. The status quo actually helps and encourages unknowing tax cheating. It's a bad idea. We need a streamlined system where everybody is on the same page. And so that's what HR 2775 does. Uh, it encourages investment in our communities. It encourages people to buy um, locally because it, those people are now on the same playing field instead of at a competitive disadvantage. So, uh, and it encourages people to hire Ohioans. So I'm, I'm for this bill because it's about jobs, it's about fairness, and it's really important to mention there's no new tax in this. It's about how we collect taxes that are already due and we need a fair system for everybody that's supposed to pay their taxes to pay their taxes. So uh, I think this bill's a no-brainer. There aren't too many no-brainers in Congress, but this is one of them. So I'm for e-fairness. I'm uh, one of the lead co-sponsors, and uh, I just appreciate Jack for hosting this press conference to bring awareness to this issue. And it's timely because this bill is in the Judiciary Committee in the House of Representatives, and the Christmas <coughs> season is coming. Christmas is such an important time in retail. What, a third of the sales in the year are made during Christmas? Maybe more half. I mean, it's Could the last black quarter for Jack and his businesses. So it's, it's, a, it's a big, important time of the year for retailers to be making So, I mean, this is, this is the time when a third to half the sales in retail are made. Uh, this is the time when people are making buying decisions. And don't put Jack at a competitive disadvantage where on a $20,000 ring, he's got to charge an extra thousand, collect an extra thousand, that the online people don't, and it makes it look like there's a net savings there, even though the taxes still do, and then people just cheat and don't pay the tax. It's really not fair. We're hurting Ohio jobs. Absolutely. We're hurting Main Street, Lane Avenue, in Ohio, 
and uh, we need to fix it. And that's why we've got to pass this thing before the Christmas buying season. That's why this is such an important awareness press conference. I'm headed back to Washington on a three o'clock flight, and I'm going to be working to continue to build this um, support for this bill. It's so important for Main Street, for um, for jobs in Ohio. So thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, building awareness, and I'll go back to Washington to continue to build support for this bill that's all about fairness and jobs. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Congressman, thank you very thank much you. for your support. You've been very supportive from day one, and obviously being here today in a thriving local retail establishment, Jack's business is, is very important to this community. Uh, E-fairness is obviously a huge issue for retail. It doesn't matter what size your retail establishment is. When your competitor has a 7 to 8 percent price advantage over your business, that's an issue. And capital market forces, if Jack can't compete on price, that's, a, that's his issue, but when he has his competitor has an 8 percent price advantage, that becomes a big issue. Just a couple things. There's also um, a, a survey or poll results that were released today. I want to talk about this. They should also be in the press event, the press kit. 69% of Ohioans support federal legislation. 82% of Ohioans think it would be easier to collect sales tax from online-only vendors. And 94% of Ohioans say local retailers are important to their community's economic health. So thank you very much. We'll be happy to answer any questions.